Hey yo, what's going on everybody? So, I'm gonna try something new, and as all my series go, unless I have fun with it, I'll probably just ditch it and never mention it again. But, that's largely contingent on your ability to contribute good and helpful suggestions. Now, uh, I'm gonna do it, I guess I'll just call it double standards, I don't know, I haven't put much thought into it, but I'm gonna talk about double standards in society, in my society rather, because I can't really speak for the rest of you, uh, that I find either ridiculous, that I think shouldn't exist, or some that I think should exist, because it's gotten to the point now, and I guess this is the, the reason that I felt like doing this series, is because it's gotten to the point that we live in such a politically correct bullshit culture of everybody's equal, everybody's equal, that even the mention of, that's a double standard, pretty much immediately if someone hears double standard, they assume it's wrong. They don't even take the time to look at why the double standard's in place. Maybe that there, maybe there are magically two standards that need, you know, different, like, uh, accommodations. You know, who could imagine that? Because maybe, if we're all being honest, people aren't necessarily equal, you know? It's just gotten so politically correct that even now we look at double standards like it's some kind of logical fallacy, which it's not. You know, sometimes you need two standards to deal with two specific situations, or, ent or entities, rather. So that's why I felt like doing this. So I guess before I get any further into the video... Um, please leave a comment and let me know what's a double standard that pisses you off uh, in society that you don't think should exist, or leave one that you think should exist, uh, and really there's no limit to what you can leave it about. It can be about, uh, you know, no limit. There, I won't even begin to list things. I'm going to let you guys have your imaginations go wild. And just as an example of something uh, that I might be talking about, I figured I'd start it off by talking about one, uh, a double standard that does exist that I don't think should exist. And remember, you guys can leave suggestions on either side of that coin. Now, uh, the first one of those I want to talk about is prison rape, all right? And, oh, yeah, very pertinent issue, Taylor. Thanks for bringing this up. Um, they're going to be talking about this in all the presidential debates. Oh, the stance on prison rape. But uh, anyway, so it's really not rare to hear rape jokes about uh, really anything. You know, rape jokes really aren't that rare. And the caveat to this is that Almost every rape joke you're ever going to hear is about prison rape. And it's really funny, because almost every politically correct person I've ever talked to, all the really PC people, they always treat rape like it's just the worst thing to joke about. You can joke about genocide, murder, all that, but rape, that's over the line. But at the same time, I don't think I'm the only person who's noticed that in my whole life, I've probably heard, like, two like like real rape jokes like like that's it like every like the other million of them have all been about dudes getting raped in prison and those have been told to me by men women boys girls everyone and people laugh at them from all all walks of life you know and people have no qualm with laughing about guys getting raped in prison now for example look at jerry sandusky now Google Jerry Sandusky and joke, and millions are going to pop up, maybe not millions, but a plethora of jokes will pop up, and all of them will be about his bloody butthole in prison and how hilarious it is imagining a big burly guy with a bunch of tattoos bending him over and brutally raping him as he screams and cries in agony. And isn't that just hilarious? Isn't that just a funny joke? That's like the kind of rape that we can all get around and laugh at. That's great rape. That's like, that's like, that's like the kind of rape that, that makes you a better person. That's like building character rape. He deserves it, though. And hey, as far as this goes, I'm never. I'm not saying I'm offended by people saying he deserves to get raped because if we're being honest, you know, he probably does deserve to get raped. If it's a hundred percent fair universe, he does for sure. But I'm not. I have no qualm with that because I'm never really offended by things. I'm just talking about the double standard itself of these assholes who pretend to be so on their high horse and morally, you know, indignant and you know, in their own realm of morality, and then a joke will come along like that that makes a brutal rape joke about Jerry Sandusky, and because it's about a dude in prison and not, you know, uh, a woman, they'll be like, oh, that's fine, that's just, that's not real rape, that's kind of just a joke. You know, they don't really care about that. Uh, additionally, if, if, as a way to compare, think about this. If uh, Casey Anthony had killed her kid, which I'm pretty sure she did, I'm pretty sure she killed him, as were, you know, pretty much everybody in the wake of it, uh, but regardless... Everyone was pretty sure that she did it, and she got off. But imagine that she got sent to jail. Imagine that she got sent to jail. She murdered someone. Murdered. Like, a worse crime than rape. Murder. End someone's life. The end. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. That's the end. She murdered someone. Now, even if she were in prison now, could you imagine anyone ever making a joke? Like, ha, I hope Casey Anthony is getting raped in prison right now. She deserves it, that bitch. I hope she gets raped. Wow. I hope that she is just screaming in agony and awful things are happening to her every day because of what she did. No. 
No, no, no. E- like even an allusion to that kind of joke on a on a TV show or a, in a stand-up act that a woman deserved to be raped for what she did because it was somehow corrective. People would say that's that's really just not good. That's not a good way to look at rape in the in the prison system. You know, we shouldn't be putting rape in the prison system as a means of scaring people because that's pretty fucked up. That kind of makes our our prison system kind of like a rapist. You know, we're we're making people so afraid to go to prison because they're going to get raped. It's kind of messed up. So that's just what I'm talking about, is this horrific double standard of jokes about rape. I don't care about jokes. You can make a joke about whatever the hell you want. I don't give a shit. Say whatever you want. doesn't offend me. But don't pretend uh, that some of these jokes are magically more offensive than others just based on the circumstance. You know, that's, that's all that I'm saying is if you're going to, uh, you know, have this morally holier-than-thou attitude in regard to crime and rape and awful, awful things like that, then, you know, at least have the fortitude to have the same perspective when it comes to a person of the opposite gender. You know, at least have that. That might, you know, make you look a little bit more like you care about equality. But regardless, let me just stress once again that this is not me saying I don't think Jerry Sandusky deserves to get raped because, you know, he probably does. He probably does. Anyway, that's it.